I reckon so. Oh shit! Who just stuffs a dead bird in his pocket? Who, who does that? Everybody out there in YouTube land, and we're back with the Charnel House Trilogy. This is Inhale. It looks like the storm didn't reach here. The snow is still falling. It's a clean, crisp night. Just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. Okay. Uh, Harold Lang. We got me. Uh, let's see what I got. I got my crack dog model. I got my tickets. I got my purse. A lighter. A pack of cigarettes. A book. And that's it. All right, so let me let me see what I got here. My cracked little doggy. My train tickets. Okay. Cards, money, mace, the usual. <laughs> cool, so you got mace. My trusty lighter, 10 years old and still going strong. That's remarkable for Zippo. Uh, had they had a picture of like a Bic, I would have believed it better. I'd like to say smoking is my only vice, but it's not. <laughs> the charnel house burial. I don't remember bringing this. Hmm. Very strange indeed. Just gone midnight. Feels like I've been here forever. Damn, you should have grabbed a jacket. Uh, station. This place is lonely and forlorn. Took an expensive cab ride to get here. We're in the middle of nowhere. The station looks like it hasn't been used in years. Hmm. It's a bit too big to carry around. Nah, it's fine. Carry around the station. There's nobody inside, and it's all boarded up. No point. It's weird that it's all boarded up, but the lights are still going. What's this? A pile of luggage, including mine. I just dumped it there because it seemed like the right thing to do. Okay, well, let's get it out. The porter can get it when the train pulls in. Hmm, okay. Forgot about porters. Hey, who's this guy? An intellectual-looking guy. His jacket has elbow patches. Cool. Cool. We'll talk with him in a second. Train tracks. They don't look very well maintained. Hmm. Distance? I can't see the train. I hope it shows up soon. I'm freezing. Okay, and then the forest. A forest. The trees are bare in the winter months. I've never been here before. I hmm. should explore when I'm back from Augur Peak. I used to love walking in the forest with Mom and... Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll go walking in the forest when I'm back. Although I imagine there are plenty of forests on Augur Peak to explore. I can't go off exploring forests right now. The train's coming. No. Well, lay down on the tracks. I probably shouldn't start playing on the tracks. <laughs> okay, well, the obvious thing is, can you go the distance? I'm not walking away. I'm here now. There's no turning back. Okay, I see you're determined. So let's talk to Harold. So, hey. You been waiting long? I, uh... I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. Ah. Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Great. So, uh, where are you headed? A little port town. <laughs> Last stop. <laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to Augur, Augur Peak, Peak Island. Island. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Hmm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Oh, so I must be like um, an archaeologist. I won't pry any further. But, you know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. Hmm. Well, he seems like a nice enough guy. Look, there's the train! Train should be here soon. I think I can see it. It's weird that he didn't offer me his jacket. It's going to be a long boring journey. Fool that I am, I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. Oh, I have a book for you. Hmm. 
Hmm. Here, you can have this book. Here you go. I guess... I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. Yep. Hey. Hey. You can take this. Hey, something fell. I've already read it. Pulp horror fiction. Yeah, sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. Oh, well, he... <laughs> well, here, here's the train. This is us. I would love to take an old train ride. Nice. Nice. Hey. Two passengers. Well, this is my lucky day. <laughs> it's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. Off you go now. No, 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 I dropped something. There's something in the snow. I dropped just there, on the snow. Why won't you let me pick it up? What is it? It dropped out of the book. Is it like a bookmark, or...? Well, well. What's this, then? Who's our cute little doggy? Oh, it's Sam! I know just who'll like this. <laughs> Settle down, you. We're nearly ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know what'll happen then. <laughs> That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. You'll be over fuck? soon, and you'll be back home before you know it. What? Aye, I reckon so. Oh, shit! Who just stuffs a dead bird in his pocket? Who, who does that? Oh, shit, where'd the rest of the train go? Is this a ghost train? Holy crap. <sighs> I guess that's it for inhale. Um Wow. Jeez. Okay. Um Should we keep it going? I mean it's only been like ten minutes. Let's keep it going. Uh Sepulchre. Well we'll do that one next. Ah, oh, that was really fast. I didn't know it was that fast. Oh, it's Harry. What's his name? And the wicked shall hold their tongues. Hmm. I'm an Alex. I'm gonna play Alex some more. He's they wide. Stir. <clears throat> Beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <laughs> hmm. Train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left, uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? Hmm. God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. Um, I doubt he's going to mention Alex at all, um, during Sepulchre, because Sepulchre, I believe, was the first part of the game that had came out, um, and this chapter was the only part of this game that had came out for the longest time, and I believe they added Exhale and Inhale, uh, 
recently, and that's why it's the Toronto House trilogy. So if he doesn't mention Alex or they mention them at all, um, then that's why. And I'm prepared for that. Now, if they do go back and reference her, like he's like, I wonder what happened to the girl or whatever. And that's great game design because they didn't say fuck all about that uh, the first when it came out. Uh, for the record, I have watched Sepulchre, this one, um, on Harshly Critical's channel. It was a long time ago. I don't remember the plot twists or anything. When I saw that the Toronto House Trilogy came out, I remember this scene in particular, and I was like, oh, yeah, that sparks a memory. I think I've seen that before. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, it took me a while to remember where I saw seen it before. So I'm basically playing this. Well, it's obviously me playing it the first time, but it's like me redoing it because I, I don't remember anything besides the fact that, that this was the only part that it came out at the time. Shut us down. Hmm. Is it locked? <sighs> no use. Stop. He's got a bad case of dry mouth. Shut us down. Okay, uh, what's this painting? It's nothing interesting. Well, I... I disagree. I think it's very interesting. I can't just cart around any old thing. Well, you should. What's this? A book. The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. Okay, so he doesn't even mention where he got it from. We should I take it. I don't want to be carting a book around unnecessarily. Alright, well, you got a bag down here. What do we have here, then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennic on Thames Museum. That's me, alright. Krennic on Thames Museum, that's... <sighs> Didn't Alex win free tickets to that museum? Take it. No sense in taking the entire thing. Well, at least your wallet. No. It's nothing. Do I have the wallet? Okay, I do have the wallet. Ah, a bit of money. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> oh, I get it, because he's a doctor. Five pound note. A crisp five pound note. Hmm. What's this? Credit card. It's my credit card. Yeah. Okay. Museum ID. Dr. Harold Lang. Krennic on Thames Museum. Badge ID CCPN one three one eight. One three one eight. Thirteen eighteen. Wasn't that the last part of her password for the computer? Comfy enough to sleep on, evidently. Hmm. Comfy enough. Okay. Comfy enough to. Okay. Uh, I tried to use it. Uh, is that all that's in here? That's all we're talking about. All right. It's nothing interesting. Shut up. Use the door. <laughs> it's nothing interesting. Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. Hmm. Nothing like a good hard shot of liquor to clear your head. Uh, looks okay. like... Okay. I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Augur Peak Island. I'm on this train to... <coughs> hmm. Must be a bit sick. I'm... I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... What's he doing? Is he trying to get his story straight? A painting of a train. Is it this one? No. Looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. Hmm. Old Gloria. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Lock. Okay. Uh, it's the ticket inspector. A friendly looking fellow. Makes a change for public transport. Hmm. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. Uh, that painting. Let's talk about that. That painting on the wall. Isn't she a beaut? Runs like clockwork, so she does. It's this train. Uh, isn't it a little old? <laughs> you kids today have got no appreciation of machinery. We've got to be the same age at best. Well, <laughs> practically grew up in us, so I did. There's nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. Okay. Uh, what's this door? I can't click on this door at all. Uh, okay. 
let's let's go then. All right. All right. Have a nice day. If I have any more questions, I'll be sure to ask you. Uh, fire extinguisher. It's nothing interesting. It's a fucking fire extinguisher. Take it. I can't just cart. All right. Check out door one C. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Okay. Uh, exit right. Okay, so locked. What? Isn't this the way out? Okay, maybe. Okay, what? Hey, uh, guy. The door's locked. Hey. A friendly. Right, you are then. Right, right. The, the, there's a keyhole. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folks always jump to conclusions. There's nothing wrong. It's just how we do things when our guests are asleep. It prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Hmm. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you. If a fire breaks out in this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift. Be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Hmm. Sheesh. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> can give you the key, though. On one condition. That's it. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will hook you up. Just tell him it's for done. Yeah. Oof. No problem, my friend. Thank you. Thank goodness. Man, I don't have to do no fucking rigmarole here. He's just gonna. Oh. <laughs> uh, he's just uh, gonna straight up give me the uh, the key. That's fucking fantastic. So let's go ahead and use this key. Unlock the door. Aha! Uh -huh. Open. Uh -huh. Now we have a key to the thing. Oh, what's this? A solemn-looking young woman. She's a little unnerving. It's bad enough looking at the picture, let alone carrying it around. Okay. Let's take a look at it, though. Hmm. A solemn-looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring off at something just outside the picture's edge. It's a little unnerving. I feel like... I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this wasn't up in a train carriage... Hmm. Anything crazy about this? No? Alright, uh, let's check that. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. Alright, alright. So I, I get the gist. Uh, you want me to hurry the fuck up, so let's go. Locked. Damn. Oh, seriously? Oh, yeah, that's right. They lock everything. Here. No good. I can't even get the key in. Must be locked from the other side. Are you fucking kidding me? Locked. Oh, damn. God damn it. Alright. Uh... Ah, better. Alright. Damn it, Don. Hey, this door is kind of messed up. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. I wonder if this key will work on this door. Not really something. Okay. Hey, the the door's locked. Can you do something about that? The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah. Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? I guess... Ah. Floyd must be... A friendly looking... Okay. Uh, hello? How about we trial the doors now? Locked. Okay. Uh, that's obviously my door. Let's try this one. Locked. Okay. I guess we just need to check out all the doors. Make sure everything's okay. Oh, look! This door's open. Locked. I think I can hear breathing inside. Faint sound of someone sleeping, perhaps. I won't disturb them further. OK. 
Okay. So somebody's sleeping in A2. Locked. I think I can. Okay, and also there, and now there's door 2C as well. Hello? Hi, I'm on an adventure. Whoa, that's a huge bag. A huge black holdall. Looks very heavy. God knows what's inside. God knows. Uh, what's on right now? A box? beautifully polished wooden box. It has a red teardrop shaped gem set into the top. Uh, Grub? He doesn't look very well. That's if it's even a he. He looks positively sick, in fact. Are you okay, buddy? Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? Ooh. He's muttering something. I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. No. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. Uh, warm food. Uh, ornate box? I can't just go gr- Okay. Uh, alright, so... Uh, okay, he's kinda creepy. Let's... Let's get going. Uh... What? Hello? Oh, I don't know why, like, it wouldn't auto-walk for some reason. Alright, hey, uh, dude, we got a guy in here. He looks pretty fucking sick. We might want to do something about that. A friend. Hey, grub. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train sometimes, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. Uh, the, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye. And I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these boys have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah oh, well, give the boy time. Hey, saw one of your fellow passengers pop their head at the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you'd get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing, so she was. Thanks. Um, are you sure that she was... <laughs> what? Come on, man. <laughs> <sighs> All right, then. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. So thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me uh, here with the Charnel House Trilogy. When we come back, we're going to go to the end of the hallway and go talk to a pretty young thing. Maybe it's Alex. And, uh, and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. So peace out, everybody.